Laura, it's no secret that some people believe in God and some people don't. Uh, and that's also true among physicists, although the skew may be higher of those who don't believe. But among those who believe and those who don't believe, if you ask them to conduct like a court case uh, in terms of uh, asserting their views, either theistic or atheistic, both, and here's the interesting point, will call the universe as exhibit A in evidence. Both sides will enter the universe and how it's structured so that the, the theist will say, if there is a God, the universe is exactly what you'd expect it to look like. And the atheist would say, if there is no God, the universe is exactly the way we find it. How could that happen? As a scientist, um, we, we spend a lot of time studying the universe and, and um, nobody can help be marveled by, by the beauty and the harmony uh, of the universe. There are so many things we don't understand, especially the big questions about the universe. So I, I can see how that happens, because those big questions can be used in favor or against um, the Exhibit A or Exhibit B. But um, the, the difference I, I see is, first, religion and believing in God are two very, very different things. And uh, the second difference is both religion and science, when it comes to, to the ultimate layer of, of reality and, and, and the big questions about the, the universe, they, they are both trying to probe the same type of question, but with very different methods. Uh, in, in science, we, we use the scientific method, and, and we, we do put that heavy burden of proof in whatever toy models or, or crazy radical ideas we can come up with until they are taken seriously. In, in religion, in contrast, we accept a certain view uh, solely based on faith, solely because we, we like it, it makes sense to us. So I, I, in that sense, I don't see a conflict between the two. It's just two very different approaches to the same big question. But some would say that the scientific method uh, uh, asserts truth because it, when it is done by the scientific method, it is third party verifiable that mm -hmm. you can be in Japan or in uh, South Africa or in the U.S. and you would come to the same conclusion because you have a, a set of logical reasoning procedures. Mm -hmm. But in religion, you, you don't have that. You have sort of an internal feeling that nobody can judge on a third-party basis. So it's a, it's a very different standard. Absolutely. So that you, these are the two very different methods that, that in the scientific method, the, the proof would be universal, independent of uh, which place is being conducted or by whom. In, in the uh, religion uh, case, since everything is taken on faith, and, and there are more than one religion, so there, there is a variety I've, of I've religions. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, even, even the, the faith varies uh, from, from one to, to the other. That, that, that's a huge difference between the, the two approaches to, to the same question, yeah. but I also, that, that's why I, I made the difference between religion and, and believing in God. There, there is a variety of religions, sure. but... And, and I'm, I'm not interested in the sociology yeah. of religion because all, all of that has to do with culture or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm interested in the, the core concept of belief in God or some, some supernatural entity that goes beyond the physical. Mm -hmm. the, the physical. But th the key point is that both among physicists who yeah. believe or not believe in God, they both use the same evidence. <laughs> I, I wouldn't call that evidence. It, it's rather lack of evidence because uh, we, we are both, uh, both groups are using the fact that we don't understand uh, certain aspects of, of our universe and, and uh, explaining them away uh, to, towards their point of view. Well, or, or, or the opposite, that, that, that we can ex explain it. So the atheist would say that we don't need God, we don't need anything supernatural, God of the God, we don't need any of that, because what we have is we can prove all these things, we can go step by step, and if you as a quantum cosmologist, we can go to earlier than we ever thought, and maybe we can go all the way. So, so we don't need any, any extra entity in that, because we have it. Yeah. The theists who were physicists say, look at the beauty of this construction and how did it all come about and what was there before. And, and uh, what do you mean it's, uh, to, to the, the, the atheist? What do you mean that, that this is all being done by itself? You're basing it on quantum cosmology and quantum theory. Where did that come from? So, okay. so you have two radically different mm -hmm. ways of thinking that are both, both looking at the actual evidence, not... not yeah. Without, not the uncertainty. 
I, I would, being trained as a scientist, I, I'd find it hard to um, side with, with either camp. And, and the reason is of, of what we mentioned a minute ago, the burden of proof. As, as a scientist, you are trained to, to require that standard that whichever view one takes, it, it should have evidence and, and proof behind it in order to be taken seriously. Even then, it's not the ultimate, the total um, word in that subject, but, but it, it carries more weight than, than another point of view. So, in that sense, it would be very hard to argue in favor or against believing in God because, first of all, we, we really are at the very baby steps of those deep questions about nature. We've just reached the stage on the last decade where we, we can barely ask what, what was there before and what gave our universe. But there are so many layers of nature well above that question. So we, we are at the beginning of a journey. One can argue that, okay, there is a multiverse, it explains the origin of our universe, which I do believe it does, but what gave the multiverse? So that, that question of what was there before and what gave this and what gave that never ends for at least as long as human curiosity continues. So in that sense, we'll never be able to to reach the final stage where we say we understand everything there is and about nature and, and we don't need any, so, any so you're intervention. Making two statements here, both of which are interesting, but I think both, they, they contradict each other. On the one hand, you're mm -hmm. saying that we're at the early stages, we're not sure, so we can't make a justification. Now you're saying that even at the end result, we're not going to know what's going on because we'll still be left with those questions. Where did that come from? Or why is it that way? Whatever the way is. So which one is it? Uh, both. It's because we, uh, my, my, my um, uh, belief is that we'll never reach that, that end of the journey. So we'll that, always be in the state, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, superposed, superposition state of between, between be believing in God and not believing in God. You'll always be there. Or we don't have to worry about that, that aspect and, and, and just um, be concerned with, with uh, how to satisfy our curiosity about nature. There, there is a beautiful nature out there, and, and uh, we, we have been equipped with, with uh, an uh, inquiring mind to keep asking those questions. And, and I cannot imagine a, a more dreadful world than a world where there is, all the questions are answered, there is nothing left for us to do anymore. And, and we all go home happy and say, we understand where everything yeah, came maybe from. Maybe that's the definition of hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. So this, uh, this inquiry, the human inquiry will continue um, at any generation. And every time we, we make one step further, we are happy that we understood our local universe, right. and, and maybe a bit more, uh, and maybe a bit beyond. But uh, we're also happy that, that we haven't reached the end of that journey, of, of that curiosity. The, the big difference I see, again, with religion is um, we approach these big questions about nature. Both, uh, both approaches are motivated by a need to understand the world around us. But uh, in, in the scientific method, we, we are approaching nature with, with a different set of tools than than in the religious method.